Sometimes the rain is falling, but I won't let it in. There could be storm clouds looming, but I'll shine within. Cause every day there's something beautiful that shines through the rain. There is something good on the way. It's a, a beautiful day, and I won't give in to my fears. Watch them. Fade away While I get over my tears It's a, a beautiful day And I won't give in to my fears Watch them fade away While I get over my tears Sometimes I don't feel like trying But I won't give it in Rent's due, the landlord's calling, but I'll try again. Cause these challenges won't bring me down. I'll shine through the rain. Cause there is something good on the way. It's a, a beautiful day, and I won't give in to my feelings. Watch them. Fade away While I get over my tears It's a, a beautiful day And I won't give in to my fears Watch them fade away While I get over my tears Every day there's something good Something beautiful Every day there's something good, something beautiful There'll always be stormy weather, but the sun will shine again I'll keep the faith as my umbrella to weather the rain Cause this life can sometimes bring you down, but I'll feel the sun again Something good on the way It's a, a beautiful day And I won't give in to my fears Watch them fade away While I get over my tears It's a beautiful day And I won't give in to my fears Watch them Fade away While I get off my tears It's so mm, I won't give in Everybody, welcome to It Matters Radio. Uh, this is our very special guest interview show, and I'm always excited about the guests that we have. And if this is the first time you've ever been here, my name is Monica Brinkman, and I'm one of the hosts tonight. And of course, joining me is Carrie Hall, who a- actually is our musical guest host. And Carrie searches the world for the best talent, and I know from experience that she has brought us someone that is near and dear to our heart. So will you please introduce this beautiful lady to everyone, Carrie? I would be delighted. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the wonderful Sonia Eden. She is Hello. from Barbados. Hi. She's an Hi. island girl. Yeah. And, uh, she's a singer, songwriter, wonderful person. Welcome back, Sonia. We missed you. Oh, I missed you guys as well. Thank you for having me again. I love you. Love yeah, you both. Well. It's been a while. We love you. So we're going to see what yeah. you're up to. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Got to catch up. So, Sonia, your music has been described as, and I quote, 
sunshine wrapped in a soulful vibe. That is such a wonderful uh, uh, expression. Now you have that island girl background in your music. Um, how did this all start for you musically? Wow. Um, it's been such a long journey, Carrie. I uh, mean, it started like from as a child listening to my dad play all these, all the music he could put his hands on. He listened to everything from Fleetwood Mac to Bob Marley, just a wide, wide range. And he had such a great diverse taste in music. And that, that kind of started my interest. And then when I started like writing and hearing melodies and stuff like that, and even at, at school going, singing in the choir, acting in plays, music has always been a part of my life. Wow. There definitely is that island kind of beat uh, to every song you do, and all your songs are so wonderful. I want to go back to your first CD or EP called Pieces of Me. Talk a little bit about that. Pieces of Me, <laughs> again, it, it, I, wanted, I wanted to put myself in the music. I wanted it to be original, and I wanted it to, to be fresh, and each one of those songs is it's about something that's been personal and that is a part of my life. So it really was like an experience of a part of myself that I was expressing in my own style. And it, it was a challenge. It was a, a struggle to get the music out because of resources, limited resources. You know how we struggle as independent artists. Yes. And all of that, all of that, that journey and that those challenges helped to make the music what it was. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, uh, EP or CD rather. Um, and what blew me away is it practically got instantaneous requests to to air on various radio stations. I think Australia was one um, uh, yeah. place mentioned. How did you feel about that? I was I was blown away by it because what had happened was I just put put the the first track on it was beautiful day I decided well okay I'll just put it out put it on my website and see what happens and like the first day I put it out and then I, I came back to check the next day and I got a call from a, a radio DJ in Australia from 2CCRFM and he said to me how long have you been singing? Can you send me everything you've ever done? And uh. I'm so excited by this. And I was really touched. I was really touched by that. So it was just such a wonderful experience to get that appreciation right right away almost. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, your first, that was your first uh, uh, CD, and I'm, I, I would be blown away, too. So, <laughs> along comes Truth, uh, let me see if I get the name Truth, right now. Truth, Love, and Lies. Thank you, Truth, Love, and Lies. Yeah. Talk about the process of that, because that's another wonderful, wonderful EP song. It's, yeah, Truth, Love, and Life, I was working with a producer called Wayne Scary, and like I would stay at home like almost secluded and and write and like crafting and fine-tuning all these songs and I would go into him and he would say oh not that one it's not ready yet and I would think no it is I'm standing up for this song like I'll be around was like that yeah they didn't like it at first but I I just kept saying you know it has to be on it has to be on and I kept working on the songs and practicing thinking about the music and finally I got introduced to a guitar player who used to work with Billy Ocean oh. and worked with Shadi and he worked with a number of other people. And I said, um, I, I need guitar lessons. Can I come to your house? Ooh. I just wanted him to hear the song. So I said, oh, I need guitar lessons. And I, he said, sure, come over. And I brought my guitar and I said, oh, but by the way, I wrote this song. What do you think about it? And I just started playing all the songs I wanted to be on the CD. And he said, "Wow, they're great!" And I said, "Would you mind playing on 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 this on the CD?" And he said, "Sure, just tell me when, and I'll come. I'll turn up." And then finally, I just managed to get people to other musicians to turn up and come into the studio. And Dwayne 
he got on board as well and we just started to put together the songs one after one finally we had so many songs we didn't know what to pick you know and then right, right. we sat back and, and we thought about it and you know it was just a, a struggle to choose which even now i listen back and i have other songs that aren't on there and i think people have to hear these songs absolutely they do they do they're beautiful songs now do you, you have a copy of your cd yeah it just so happens how would you like to show it to our viewers what did I do? oh here it is ah. <laughs> perfect there it is. Oops, upside Danny. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I, I love the cover. You know, I do too. It says it all. Oh, <laughs> there's a funny story about where it was. This, this is it, this cover was taken at George Washington House. George Washington visited Barbados and he stayed here oh. in this room. And I said, "Why? Well, let me just be in the room with greatness." And Aww. I said, "We." did the photo shoot and there it was awesome so oh, it's, wow it, and it was greatness yeah it's oh, George Washington house in Barbados I love where I, I didn't know many to. visited okay oh uh, well Sonia let everybody know where you're from uh it is Barbados right Talk Barbados a bit about yes. the island oh it's 256 square miles beautiful wonderful beaches I live on the east side the East Coast, and that's that's where the um, the Atlantic Ocean is. Not really good for swimming, but it's beautiful and serene. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Caribbean Sea on the other side, which is the western side. Oh. And we have like 257,000 people on the island. Uh, wow, that's a lot of people on a little island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, very densely populated. Yeah, it sounds like a wonderful, wonderful place. So, I'm going to ask you to think about this a little bit. <laughs> what do you want your fans to know about you that they didn't know about you before? I was an accountant in another lifetime. Ah. Okay. <laughs> well, that brings you yeah. some business sense, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, in terms of like doing business plans to try and raise funding to get the CDs done, and even like I took part in a pitch competition, and it, I was the only artist there, and I was pitching the music, pitching it as a business and mm -hmm. a viable business, which I think it is. Yeah. And I pitched about the music being a product and what the benefits of it were. And I had like a whole set of numbers done and everything. <laughs> so wow. Well, support for my, for, for, for the music. And I think more artists need to do that because, oh, yeah, you know, we, you need, you need to move your art and your passion forward. And I love what I do. I love music and I want to keep doing it. I can't keep doing it if it's not sustained. So you have right. to balance the business with the creativity. You know, and yes. that's what a lot of the uh, musicians and singers and such don't understand what you just said. Yeah. It is a business. You can, yeah. you know, I know everybody's about the music and about creating their sound, but there are people out there who listen to your music and they love it and there's mm -hmm. people that have funds that would very much love to sponsor you if you tell them what you can do for them yeah exactly have you know you have to know you have to know what the benefits of your craft are of your artistry are and how to present that and how to be serious about it because if you love something and you're so passionate about it, you take it seriously and you, you turn up on time, mm -hmm. you know your business, you know what your model is, you know where you're going because that says, you know what, I am serious about this. I'm serious about what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I, I say, oh, I, I've lost count, Carrie and Monica, of how many proposals I've sent like saying oh well if you sponsor my music it gives this it, it 
it's you know attra attracts this amount of fans and yes. people listen and it will your product will be linked to my music it's there's nothing wrong with it you have to have a business plan in place as well that's right, right. that's right. right and that's that's the one little thing that a lot of performers aren't understanding and yeah. it's I, i'm so happy you brought that up because people yeah. don't, don't speak about that enough and they need to they have yeah, to, yeah. Need to. I, I i love being in the studio i love writing but i can't do that if i'm hungry i can't True. carry on you yeah. know if i don't have a roof over my head if i am how can the peaceful creative side of me come out if i'm worrying about how am i going to pay my next but my set of bills how Right. You know how I, it's a struggle to balance it. I'm not going to pretend it's easy, but this is what I do because I love this. Right. Yes. You definitely seem to have a great passion for your music and it reflects in every song that you do. It's just blows me away. So, um, 2015, you, there's been some interesting highlights for you that you really were raving about actually on your on your bio sheet. Tell us about your 2015 and highlights of where you've been and what you've done. In, in 2015, I came up with this idea that, okay, I'm not getting booked, so I'm gonna create my own shows. So I, I came up with the Sonia Eden Live events. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I, I like organized it, invited people who were in specific areas. And the first one we did, it was in, in Margate, in London. So I got support, I got funding, and I did, I did the shows. It was a small group of really supportive and appreciative and loving people who turned up, and they were wonderful. They listened to every song, they clapped, they hooted, like, like it was like 10,000 people there. Uh -huh. And then I did another show in, in, in London, and that it was the same, it was wonderful because I got a chance to connect with the fans and talk to them and just, you know, talk about everyday stuff. Yes. That you so, don't, yeah, you don't very right. often get to do that either. But see what you could, you did? Yeah. And I think a lot of that comes from your sense of balancing the music and the money. <laughs> you know, the M&M. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, music and money. Before <laughs> I, that, I wanted yeah. to, I wanted to perform. I wanted a chance to share. I shared some of the new songs that are going to be coming out this year with the fans at that show, and I also got a chance to do some of the old the the older songs with just me and the guitar in an acoustic setting, and it was it was wonderful. It was really really wonderful. And then I got to go to Hamburg and open for another band and and i had a really nice session i did two gigs in hamburg and i'm hoping to do some more gigs this year again oh uh, i'm sure oh you my will God. i'm sure you wow. will yes indeed. yeah I, I can't wait to uh you know for the release because uh you already heard one of sonya's songs and you're going to hear more in fact in a couple minutes you're going to hear another one and you know she is different i i there is a little you feel a bit of the island in there but you also get such i guess passion and emotion within your songs also yes. I, people can mm -hmm. relate to what you're mm -hmm. singing about what, you, what yeah. the words say yeah and i i think that's why when you do have these wonderful events take place that the people are hooting and hollering because they're so connected. <laughs> you know, they're connected. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I do think about my lyrics a lot. I think about them very deeply. I don't just want to write something that I can't relate to. Yeah. And I've always studied song lyrics from the time I was at school. I got into trouble for writing lyrics in the back of my English book. Ah. I'd always get, oh, come see me after class. Why do you have song lyrics in your book? But I always studied like what artists said, like what Bob Marley was singing about mm -hmm. or what Fleetwood Matt was singing about or Sting because lyrics mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. I think your wor those words have a power and you can you can uplift people, you can move them, you can 
make them cry you can bring joy smiles just give something to the listener yeah i've got so much from music and i think you know that's my aim to give something some some something yeah back to the well, people and you absolutely do so i think this would be a great time to take yes. a little bit of a break right now and listen to yeah. some more music so and then we'll be back folks you're going to enjoy this and we'll be back to chat with sonia eden in just a couple minutes here you go I've been drifting, trying to find the truth, trying to face the questions in my mind. You reached out to hold me, help me find some love, help me find the end to all my strife. Now I've been living in a fantasy. I believe in things that I can't see Renewed new hope, this is how it can be The things you do to me, you got me Oh, I'm living for you, babe I'm believing in you, babe I found the joy in my life I'm glad you hold me You reached out to save me only hope that I can do this right Help me find the truth, hey Help me find the joy, yeah Help me find the love of my life Cause I've been living in a fantasy Now I believe in things that I can't see Renewed new hope, this is how it can be Oh, I'm living for you, babe I'm believing in you, babe I found the joy in my life I love how you make me feel I love how you make me feel To feel the joy brings me alive Well, I love it I love how you make me feel I love how you make me feel To feel the joy brings me alive Well, I love it living in a fantasy Now I believe in things that I can't see Renewed new hope, this is how it can be The things you do to me, you got me Oh, I'm living for you, babe I'm believing in you, babe I found the joy Oh, I love it, living in a fantasy, yeah The things that I can't see Renew new hope, this is how it can be The things you do to me, you got me Oh, I'm living for you, babe I'm believing in you, babe I find joy in my life Oh, I love it Circumstances take the fact you walk through that door. Won't you take a chance on our romance? Cause I want more. And the night says we will never be as the darkness brings a new reality. Can the morning sun bring you home to me? Can the morning sun bring you home to me? Yeah. Oh, oh, bring you home to me hey. As the evening sun disappears Did you 
you'll ever know how I really care Though these circumstances take the fact that you don't know Won't you take a chance on our romance cause I want more And the night says we will never be As the darkness brings a new reality Can the morning sun bring you home to me? Can the morning sun bring you home to me? Yeah, oh, oh, bring you home to me. Hope the light may come, maybe show the way Hope one day you'll find that you want to stay Though these circumstances take the fact that it can't be so Won't you take a chance on our romance cause I want more And the night says we will never be As the darkness brings a new reality can the morning sun bring you home to me? Can the morning sun bring you home to me? Yeah, oh, oh, bring you home to me. Yeah, mm, bring you home to me. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And again, I'm with the delightful Sonia Eden, uh, island girl from the Barbados. Beautiful, soulful, sunshiny music. I want to ask you about a performance you did for a woman's group called Goddess. Could you talk a little bit who and what was Goddess and how and why was that so? Yeah, I was wondering important. about that. Yep. Goddess was a, a women's group based in Essex in the UK and a friend of mine, they were looking for an artist to like open their, their launch and I got invited to it. It's a women's empowerment group, wonderful group of women into just uplifting each other and their society, their communities and doing what they can, working together. And I was honored to be a part of it. Wow, so now was this was this a new uh, a woman's group that had started? Um, so, oh, okay. Yeah, that that was their launch actually. Ah. That was in two thousand and twelve, I think. Wow, well, that must have meant a lot to you because you seem to be all about empowerment and you know, getting your music out there. So um, you know, you yes. maybe start a group in Barbados. <laughs> I, I just recently became a member of Women in Music, and I oh. uh, there are a lot of heavy hitters in this group, a women's group, the international portion, the Barbados branch, I just recently got involved in, so I'm really excited about that. A lot of women helping each other out in, in the music community. It's mm -hmm. very heavily male-dominated, yeah. so we support each other share our music, share information, and we really need that. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. That's, that's, it's, that's, and it's good that you're doing that. And like I said, Sonia, your music just reflects, you have a very beautiful soul. That's what I, I, I want to say. And it it comes comes through in your music and your attitude, and we, and we just love it. Um, Thank you so much. Very you're easy. welcome. So we, you actually, your music got into two short films. Let's talk a yes. little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, that was fun as well. Um, one, one film, Sunshine Promises, and this is another thing that people might not know about me. 
I sometimes dabble in script writing. Ah. So I wrote this script for a short film called Sunshine Promises, and it was about human trafficking. It was uh -huh. about this girl who she fell in love with this guy and she thought he was genuine and he was going to help her, but he really was a human trafficker. Uh -huh. And like, so it shows you, you know, how she was vulnerable and, and all the twists of it. And then she got trafficked, which was, you know, the reality of life in my part of the world. So much of that happened. So uh -huh. they asked me to do a song for a section of it and that's how I got that part in. I got to do a little something for the scene where they were so in love and stuff like that. And that was fun. Uh -huh. The other film was another short one. It was um, Poker Face and it was about abuse, domestic abuse, but it was the, the guy who was being abused by the wife. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they used Is That Enough at the end and it, it just fit. I didn't. I didn't create. Is that enough for that particular purpose? But the song just fit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just Perfect. fit. So yeah. yeah, I was really honored to be a part of it. That's a good yeah. subject matter, though, because you know that happens a lot. But men don't want to speak up about it. No, they don't. They don't yeah. because oh. it's so. It, it's 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 embarrassing it's not macho it's not manly to be beaten by by your significant other right mm -hmm. so <laughs> uh, yeah and yeah a lot of people it happens here a lot as well yeah. you know I've, I've heard of so many cases of it both ways exactly so. exactly but you just don't hear about the husband abuse or the boyfriend abuse as much <laughs> no but you see, <laughs> yeah, and people think it's it's funny, but it's sad though. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Yes, it is. Now, not that we're not going to be talking about abuse so much. I, I wanted to talk a little bit about your support. You have a wonderful husband, I understand. I do. Is that true? <laughs> uh, I <don't> know. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe in the future you're telling me something, Carrie. Maybe. Oh, okay. Meet, because I'm meet, have a wonderful husband. Yeah, yeah. Husband okay. is actually my surname. Oh, okay. Then I was wrong. I do. I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how funny! How funny that is. I thought. Yeah, but well, I looked at the site and said her husband. I said, "Oh, well, he he's very supportive." <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm divorced. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sonia. It's I, okay, Carrie. My face turns it's red. <laughs> That's it's too okay. funny. But, okay. Well, we Thank found you. out uh, something but, else about Sonia Sage, her surname's yes. husband. Yeah, right, but, that my, my my original name and not my stage name. Is, yeah. Right, right, right. Well, I love it. I love it. That that name's a great name. So now I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can imagine the reaction I get. Husbands, surely it's not husbands. It's husbands because it, it it's husbands. Sonia, husbands like plural, plural. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's look ahead uh, a year, maybe two. Where would you like to be musically and what would you like to see happening for your career? Oh, wow. I'd like to be doing a lot more gigs and meeting a lot more wonderful fans and touching and connecting with more people. I'd like to have my music in film and TV mm -hmm. and basically enjoying the creative process, like have my own studio and be able to create more freely without worrying about a budget and exactly, with, you know, just doing, just writing wonderful music and getting it out there and right. doing what I love. Speaking of music, where can we find your music to purchase? Uh, I'm on iTunes, Apple Music. You can find me on my website, um, Sonia-Eden-MP, or you can find me on Reverb Nation, or you can email me at Sonia Eden, Sonia at SoniaEden.com. 
and Facebook, and, um, right? Um, Reverb Nation. Well, sorry, Karen, Monica. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook as well. And Twitter. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we just, we, we won't be seeing your pets, obviously, but uh, you got a new puppy, I hear. Let's talk a little bit about your puppy. Oh, uh, Muffin. He's adorable. He's mischievous. He's wonderful. And Bandit. Bandit's still there, naughty as ever. They're both really naughty. And Muffin's taken to carrying away stuff. So... <laughs> He keeps moving my shoes and he keeps doing all sorts of naughty things. But everybody says to me, oh, he's still a puppy. So you have to give him a chance and he'll he'll think. But he needs puppy training, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they, he's puppy. They, do <laughs> they do outgrow a lot of it, though. <laughs> oh, he's in the path. He's gonna. It's gonna grow. He's gonna grow out of it. It's just because he's a baby now. That's but right. he's adorable. Yeah, how, he's really. How could you not love him? Uh, you know. I know. How can you not love them? <laughs> no, you, you, you cannot. Well, I'm a cat person, and it's very hard for me not to love my cat as mischievous as she can be. I love the main cats. thing. No? Uh, what she loves to do, and I'll mention this briefly, is I'll be sound asleep, and then pounce. She's on me. <laughs> it's like pounce. It's not walk, walk, walk. It's pounce. So that's what I get every morning. Yeah, because, you know, the pets know how to get our attention. Absolutely. You know, yeah. You know, what we're doing. Yeah. So I, you're you're planning on um, releasing some more songs then later yes. this year, yes. Sonia? Yeah, definitely. Um, by March 2017, I should have some new stuff out. I am traveling to Europe again. Oh, in nice. March attending some conferences and recording and getting some mu new music out. Definitely this wow. year. You guys wow. will be the first to know. Oh yeah, we'll, I hope, we'll yes. absolutely stream it if you'd like us to. I um, I always encourage anyone who's watching our guest interviews or our, our, you know, our music shows to take a moment. I mean, enjoy the shows, absolutely. But take a moment if you, loved an artist that we've had on such as the lovely Sonia Eden <laughs> and tell them tell them what you thought stop by at, you know their website or uh, any of those sites they have Facebook uh, Twitter Reverb Nation any place that you can contact them and let them know I mean yeah. how do you feel Sonia when you hear from a fan oh it's so touching you know I think gosh I've done it for a reason. Like it's really, really good to connect with people and know that something you were a part of has in some way helped them. It's inspired. It's made their day brighter. It's, it's honest. It's just so rewarding. Monica yeah. feels good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you, you give so much to them in music that I, you know, what's it take just to stop by and let someone know. And speaking of that, um, you've toured quite a bit and you've met quite a few people. Is there any moment or incident through all that time that stands out in your mind that you'll just never, ever forget? Wow. Oh, so many. I like, know. <laughs> well, tell know, us like, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> like, like being introduced to Manu Cachet, the drummer. He, he played drums with Sting and you know that happened so spontaneously like I turned up I, I, he, he, I went to a concert in Marseille I think it was and he was playing and I was like wow I can't believe it and I just sat there one of my friends took a photo of me listening to him and you could see like the pure emotion and the joy on my face just listening uh -huh. and then to me afterwards and even like doing the Sonia Eden live events and actually interacting with people who I'd only met online. I met them online, they heard the songs and they came out to the show, Monica and wow. Carrie. That yeah. was so touching because it wasn't that, that meant something. It wasn't just like a casual, oh, I listened and yeah, yeah. They actually left home in traffic, gave up a Saturday night to come out and listen to me sing. 
Uh, and wow. that meant a lot. Uh, did you ever meet a person? Uh, did, did they ever say anything to you that you'll never forget? One individual? I remember this lady writing to me and she said, you know, I was having such a really bad day and your song, Beautiful Day, I just listened to it and it literally saved my life. Uh, you know, brought me so much joy and hope uh, and it changed my day. And that, you know, is what I set out to do when I write a song, you know, to bring joy and to, to change, change some negative emotion and make something positive you make you feel something positive and that was really really touching and there have been so many nice comments as well comments about the music and what it's done for people how it's made them feel better how they've been uplifted how they enjoyed it i took it took me to a different place i love comments like that because that is the joy of music. It takes you away. It's, it's a wonderful escape. Yeah. And that is what I aim to do, you know, give you a positive escape from whatever is happening. Well, I can see yeah. how a beautiful day would do that. Yes. Uh, how can you not feel bad? I mean, how can you feel, <laughs> how can you feel bad after you hear that? You just can't. Yeah. You, you, yeah. It's, it's great. Do you have a favorite song or do you like all the songs that you write? I, I love all of them, but fantasy, I love fantasy. There's something about fantasy. It makes me feel like I'm floating on a cloud or something. Uh -huh. It just has this, this vibe and this sound, and I don't know where it came from. Though as I was just there, I wrote it, and I was just, I watched the whole process, but I think it's such a beautiful song. I love yeah. Beautiful as well. Beautiful Day. It still lifts me up when I listen to it. Uh -huh. Or sometimes I'll find myself singing it, you know, like, that's a, a beautiful day. Uh -huh. and doing the laundry or something. And, well, that's a good, that's, that's, that's all I need. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. And uh -huh. I think that, Sonia, you've probably touched many more people than you even know. Than you realize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I don't. I, I don't mind. As just so long as they've been touched, I've done my job. That's it. Mm -hmm. You have. Yeah. You have. Well, you yeah. have. You yeah. have done. I've, so I've been a part of it. So let's mention again where we can Sorry. find you and where we can purchase your music. You have a website. Yeah, Sonia-Eden-MP. Or mm -hmm. you can go on iTunes, Apple Music, Facebook, Reverb Nation. Go on Twitter slash Sonia Eden. I have a pinned link to iTunes as well. Very oh. easy to cool. find it. Well, Sonia, I, it was so nice to see you again. And I, yeah, ah, look, look at that album. It's pretty. Uh, yeah. Truth, Love, and Life. Yes. And it's gorgeous. Folks, uh, please stop by and say hi to Sonia when, if you get a chance. <laughs> Yes, because I know she'd love, uh, she'd love to hear from you. And Sonia, uh, absolutely, let us know as soon as you get, you know, all that your songs together and you're ready to release them, and we'll let we'll all the do. people know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Monica and Carrie, for having me. I love you guys. You're wonderful. Oh, we love you too. Uh, same here, Sonia. You take uh, care. And folks, you take care too. We're going to leave you with another song. So here we go. And you enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs> on the sea and all the while we pray our love will stand the test of time falling in and out of love is this our last goodbye I'm 
not over love And I'm not over you I'm just another slave to love The lock is bulletproof Held captive in your world of love Striving to be free Like a broken butterfly You hold a part of me Silly game we play Cause now there's no more you 